You know, I know we have a hit every Monday morning when the ratings stay what they are. Anyone who says you can sleep when you die, tell them to come talk to me after a few months as an intern. Of course, it's not just the job that keeps us up all night. You're the voice of the whole show, right? You know, I never thought I'd be asked to speak any more than I already do, but... Um... <laughs> it's sort of like these great life lessons that begins and ends the episodes and kind of tying it all together. Unfortunately, once you get past the age of braces and training bras, responsibility doesn't go away. Hey, George. Don't talk to me. You only get me mad, and I don't want anything messing with my game. I'm in the zone. Uh, my favorite aspect of the show is the humor. There are a lot of dramatic shows on the air and dealing with life and death issues. What makes this show original and sets it apart is that it's got a really fantastic sense of humor, and TR Knight is just unbelievably funny. You're um, advertising to get rid of Doc? I told you I would do it. And you haven't, and you won't, and I don't want George to leave. It's at least pretend that he's not housebroken. What? It's the truth. <laughs> Okay, you want me to put the truth down? <clears throat> All right, fine. Vicious, <coughs> devil dog, needs home, will pee on your bed. Let's talk a little about the chemistry of the cast. That's great. We have a blast. I mean, it's, it's, it's a great cast. You know, we've all had careers in the past, and we're all grateful to have a successful show where we kind of get how it works, and we're pulling the punches, and uh, it's, it's going really well. They allow us to do that and to be a little kind of eccentric and kooky and, and not take it all so, so seriously. And then, of course, there's all the relationship stuff and the sex, and everybody likes sex. How do you look at some of the wilder stories you guys have had? We read the scripts and say there's no way this really happened, right? But I think the writers, for the most part, do take all of the stories from real life cases. I mean, there's some that they haven't even written because they're so outrageous people wouldn't even believe it. You will not laugh, vomit, or drop your jaw, we understood. Why would we laugh? Oh, just you wait. Mm -hmm. What is it? The real story was that was a 170 pound tumor, but the network didn't think people would actually buy that. I think the DVD will be out soon. Hello? Seriously? Thank you to the fans, because the fans have made the show so iconic. It makes us, while well, make the show, it makes us care so much more about making sure the quality of the show is good. So it's a group effort.